Dave Rose is in Studio B with us now, the head coach back on BYU Sports Nation. It's been a long time. What was it, last Thursday? Yeah, Three this, shows ago? This is good. You know, I've actually uh, I've seen you guys all over town in the grocery stores on the Utah Valley Magazine, sure. you know, on the cover. I mean, you guys are like real dudes. I, I actually brought something, too, here for you. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Remember how we talked about the the, the picture? <laughs> yes, I, I got a, I got a look from you like maybe I didn't have it. You know, like maybe I was telling the story. So I'm gonna put this right here, okay? And we'll just make sure that we've got this as we as we talk we'll today. It, We're not know. featured enough in this you studio. You dusted That's great. you okay. dusted it off and brought it. it in, coach. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. But, but when I said I, it was in the top left hand corner of the drawer, I knew it was there, and he looked at me like. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> We're building trust <laughs> towards the BYU basketball Dave Rose show. That's right, to, to November 28th. To maybe someday Instagram trust. I didn't. Yeah. Hey, thank you. I didn't even bring it up. Yeah. I was going to avoid it. But All right, well, there you there. go. Yeah. So you have to watch the show, like, consistently to be able to know what we're talking about. But if Yes. You oh, we got that, the diehards. They okay. know. Yes. I know. The blue goggles. They're, they're in on it. Yeah. Coach, very exciting time. Obviously, the Cougar tip-off uh, tomorrow. But then – uh, kind of late in the game, an exhibition with New Mexico gets set up in the pit, and all the proceeds go to help uh, the hurricane situation in Houston. Really cool. When did this start? Well, I, I think that uh, it started for me actually watching on TV, you know, in August when, you know, Houston was just getting hammered, uh, as much rain as probably they've ever seen. And, uh, and there's areas that they're showing on TV where I grew up and spent time as a high school kid and uh, just flooded 8, 10, 12 feet out, uh, underwater. My sister and my brother still live there, and so we're texting back and forth trying to see what their situation is. I've got teammates from Houston that live there, and uh, the two managers of our team that year, uh, the head manager and the assistant manager, are the guys that kind of keep the group together and all of our emails and things and and the, the, our head manager actually was the only guy that was affected as far as water getting in their home but I mean I wanted to do something then and and you know we're so far away and I, I thought it would be cool to take my team down there and, and actually help we looked into it through some of the uh, the church agencies and how it was going it was just too hard to actually put together so when the NCAA came up with this event, this idea that we could play in another exhibition game, that was my initial thought is this is a way that we can help, um, you know, the, the people that have been affected. And so the, you know, the, the actual charity is the Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund set up by the mayor and a judge down there. And, and, and I, I watched the mayor, you know, during that time, and he's trying to, you know, put together all these, these different shelters where everyone's going to and, and uh, we feel really good, both Coach uh, Weir and I feel really good about where the money's going to go. And, and now, you know, we get to play a game, but we also get to help a lot of people. So it's a kind of a win-win situation for us. Uh, th- this is an awesome situation. Um, tell us a little bit mo- more about the fund and kind of – so if people go to the game, hopefully there's some kind of stream that people can watch. We'll see. But uh, if people go to the game, what, th- what happens with well, that? Well, I, I think they, they've got a big plan of, of actually raising money at the event let alone the, the, the proceeds. Hopefully we can sell it out, 17,000 people at a, uh, at 10 bucks a pop is a pretty good start. And then uh, there'll be events and different things at the arena uh, to try to help raise money. Cougar fans can actually go online uh, and, uh, and donate uh, to the – and I think we've got a graphic here we'll show eventually. But um, it's, uh, it, it's just something I really believe that – you know the the media comes into these hurricanes and they 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 you know show them and and everybody says oh my goodness look how tough this is and then they leave but those people are still there with you know water in their home and furniture out in the front yard and uh, you know my brother has shown me uh, you know a few uh, pictures of just what the streets look like as with everybody's got their furniture and wall boards and everything's cut right down to the level of the water that got oh. in their homes and. I mean, talking like somewhere like uh, close to 200,000 homes were, you know, flooded. And that's a, it's a lot of people with a lot of problems, and, and hopefully we can give them a little bit of help. And, and, and not only us, but a lot of other college basketball teams. I, I think there might end up being 50, 75, 100 of these exhibition charity games uh, to help different relief funds in Puerto Rico and Florida and the disasters in Northern California. Fantastic. And, uh, the, the shootings in, in Las Vegas. I actually talked to the – the guys in Vegas before we put this game together about maybe 
us playing and trying to help that uh, that situation. So um, it's uh, it's a good thing for college basketball to be able to help and uh, and, and hopefully it's it's something that we might be able to continue to do because because it, it's been really successful. The Missouri Kansas game the other night raised a million seven hundred fifty thousand something. Wow! 1. Fantastic! 7. Wow! Fantastic! So that's uh, you know obviously money that will be well spent. Dave Rose, the head basketball coach at BYU, with us previewing BYU New Mexico, a game that is set up for charity to help those affected by Hurricane Harvey in Houston. You can donate online at ghcf.org slash hurricane dash relief. Again, we'll put that graphic up on uh, the screen as we are talking with Coach Rose today. Coach, what can you benefit or how can you benefit from a game like this in terms of the basketball that's on the floor in, in the pit against a really good uh, opponent, an old rival? Well, I think that uh, <clears throat> the most important thing for us when we realized that it was an opportunity for us that uh, we wanted to go on the road and play because we have two exhibitions here at home. And so uh, we actually, Coach Lacombe and I got on the phone and called uh, quite a few people. I was actually surprised a couple guys that didn't want to play that uh, uh, I thought, it, I mean, it's at their place. I thought it would be something. So that, you were like, we're going to go out on the road. That's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Coach Lacombe actually was, uh, we, we picked about eight or nine nine schools and he had New Mexico. And when he came back, to me about an hour later and said, hey, these guys are really interested. I said, okay, let's go. Let's, let's focus on this. I said, there's a couple things that really intrigue me about this. Number one is it's an unbelievable home court advantage for them. Their, their fans are terrific. We played there for, for years and um, took really good teams in there and, uh, and got beat, took really you know, average teams in there and won. I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing feel when you get in there. But, uh, so that, that would be really good for our group to get them in front of, you know, fans and, and play on the road with that experience and then have us try to execute and, and do all the things that you need to do to, to try to win a game. Uh, but the other thing I think that is really important for us is that, uh, you know, we get a chance to go out, be together. We really have like three groups of guys on this team. we got a returning guys from last year with about five of those guys. we got three brand new guys, two junior college guys, and then Ryland, the freshman. Uh, from high school, and then we've got these three return missionaries that played on teams with us before. And so uh, I thought it would be good early to bring that group together, travel, get started, and, uh, and face a, you know, a team that uh, is got a lot of excitement about them with a new coaching change. And, uh, and plus, you know, we played the, the national championship game there in 1983. Yeah. Uh, when I was with Houston, and I just felt that it all kind of felt right, and so we pursued it and actually got it done. Great stuff, Coach. Awesome. Uh, yeah, bravo to uh, you and everyone that's uh, gone in to set up this thing. Very cool. We're, we're excited. I think the next three days will will play out too. Ho hopefully the, the, it'll sell out, and then from there we can maybe take it to another level to see what we can do. But uh, I know that they're working really hard, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to getting down there and playing the game. Uh, Cougar tip-off tomorrow night as well, streaming live on uh, BYUtv. Yeah, the tip the tip-off tomorrow will be a little bit interesting. We're still trying. We just had a staff meeting this morning, trying to figure out exactly how we're going to uh, put the teams together. You know, we change that around almost every year, and and uh, th this year, um, you know, we got Ryan Andrus that's out, and so we're guys short. Uh, probably tr try to put two seven t t member teams together and and play this thing and make it as competitive as we possibly can. Do you need Spencer to play? <laughs> Throw me in, Coach. Yeah, well, I got his pitcher. I think that might, <laughs> <laughs> might be good. <laughs> he's, he's a defensive stopper. Uh, yes, so yes, shoot yeah. the three, play the D. Let's yeah. go. Uh, just uh, for your record keeping, we are how many days away to an actual BYU basketball game? Hit it! Countdown to the Delta Devils. 18 days. 18 days. We count down to the regular season. Counting so down to the Delta stoked. Devils. The Delta Devils, home of Jerry Rice. Oh, so, my. That's, yeah. a, that's a lot like Laverne and Shirley. You know? <laughs> the 18 days. BYU's uh, one and seven. We've got to count down. To <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's all well, good. Hey, they'll, they'll get a win this week. They, yes, they, they will. The guys are. Uh, yes, they will. They need to be rewarded for all their work. And, and it's amazing. They can get a turn and get a win. The momentum that can, that can carry for the rest of the year. Yes. That's all they need to do. So Confidence yeah. is a yeah. real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Two basketball man. games and a football game this week and a top 20 volleyball match. It's, it's a good week. It's a good, good week. week.
Thanks, Coach. Okay, guys. Thanks for having me.